What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be talking about how to build Diona. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking me about, you know, all these character builds and stuff, and um, recently, I want to say what, past, like yesterday or the day before yesterday, we got her skill information, um, so I'm going to be doing her builds based off of all the information we've got over the past couple of days. Now, keep in mind... Um, we are not entirely sure what her healing scales off of, but as a bow user, I'm, I'm going to assume it's attack, right? Because if you look at every other character in the game that scales off something else, uh, like Barbara, Barbara is flat out a healer, right? Like just flat out a healer. Um, you know, her E heals, her auto heals with their E, her ult heals, all of that. So she scales off HP. If you look at uh, Noelle, Noelle's E gives a barrier, Noelle's ult gives her like a lightsaber, but it all scales off of defense. But every other character in the game uh, scales off of attack. Now, Diona being a bow user and having a damage ability that gives a shield, I'm thinking that she's going to scale off of attack. Now, obviously you can change your main stats depending, like these builds work no matter what the main stat is. So, um, just take that as, as you will. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and look at her abilities very briefly right here. So, first off, she has auto attacks right here. And then, whenever she presses E, she shoots out her kitty cat claw ability. Which, as you can see, there's two of them hitting him. Now, the uh, duration of her shield is based off of how many kitty cat claws hit the enemy so if you press it she shoots out two so she gets a shield off of it but like i said she's still auto attacking right there then right here is her ultimate she throws out two um mixed drinks or whatever you want to call them and uh she uh hits the ground the ground you know ice goes everywhere she'll freeze enemies that are affected by water blah 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 she also will heal inside of this uh circle right now, uh, if you guys know how Bennett works, Bennett's attack boost scales off his base attack, and Bennett's healing scales off his max HP. So she could maybe work like that, even though she doesn't attack boost, but like the healing, I don't know. But anyways, um, so there's that. And then right here, as you can see, she holds her E, and when she holds E, she does a back dash, and then she shoots five kitty cat claws instead of two. So these are her abilities. This is how she works. There you guys go. Now... Talking about that, right? Now that we're done talking about that, there are two builds you could go with her. No matter what main stats you need, there's two builds. So if you already have the gear, you're chilling. Uh, the first build would be four set maidens. And the reason why is because if you want to run her as a healer, main like as a true healer, you want to go four set maidens. Obviously, it's going to give you healing bonus or healing effectiveness. Uh, whenever, whenever using an elemental skill or elemental burst increases healing received by all party members by 20% for 10 seconds. So whenever she pops her ult, your entire team's healing, uh, received will be increased as well, which is going to be really, really nice. So this is why you're going to want to go four set maiden on her. Uh, I know a lot of you guys may not be AR 40. If you're not AR 40, then you kind of just go into like maybe some energy recharge with some uh then you go into like some attack percent or something like that i mean if you're under 40 it kind of is just whatever you got but talking about actual builds you're probably going to want to go four piece maiden set if you are looking to use her as a true healer right like if, like bennett with bennett as a healer you're going four piece maiden as well so there you guys go uh like i said uh attack percent attack percent attack percent on the top uh, obviously, she scales off HP. You go triple HP. She scales off defense. Well, I highlight doubt, but you go triple defense, whatever. Now, uh, the other build that I want to talk about for her is going to be retracing bow lead. Now, the reason why it, I well, not even I say, but retracing bow lead is because number one. It gives you increased shield strength by 35%, which her E is going to give her shield. And I'm pretty sure her E is not on a super long cooldown. 
uh, she has a press and a hold. The press is going to be on a really short cooldown. The hold is going to be a longer cooldown. But you're going to have a shield. So, like, the cooldown is going to be going down while the shield is still active. So, giving this increased sh shield strength is really nice. And then, the four piece, while protected by a shield, gain an additional 40% normal and charged attack damage. So, now her auto attacks, her charged attacks, both are getting 40% increased damage with her shield on. Um, her E is a damage ability, but I, I don't, I mean, you could build for a nuke on her, right? If that's what you want to do, which I'll talk about a third build. Like, if you are trying to go, like, real damage. But, um, anyways, right here, this is gonna probably be her go-to as far as... If you're not if you're not going for, like, a full... I only want to use Diona for a healer type of build, right? If you're going, oh, well, I only want to use her for a healer, then, yeah, you can go on the four-piece maidens. But if you want this unit to do a little bit of damage, she still heals a lot, blah, blah, blah. Retracing bow lead is gonna be the best one. Bow lead, bow lead, man, I don't know. But anyway, this is going to be the best one that you want to go with as far as that. Now, if you're trying to make her a damage dealer, right, like raw DPS, depending on if you want to go physical damage or if you want to go like cryo, there's no artifacts for cryo, right? So if you want to go like two-piece attack percent, right, so it's like two-piece gladiator and the two-piece like physical damage with like a cryo damage cup or something like that, that that's fine too. I'm currently building that same exact thing on my Zhongli. If you look right, this is Zhongli's gear, not Razor's. That's why it's Geo. But you can see gain Geo damage bonus right here. This is two-piece physical damage bonus, right? Um, two-piece physical damage. And this, this one right here is just a random piece of gear. But um, right here, yeah, physical damage on the headpiece. Oh, well, on the cup, excuse me. But I'm also going like two-piece Geo, two-piece physical. If you want to go into something like that, for her, like, if you're trying to make her damage dealer, I, I wouldn't recommend making her damage dealer just because she has the cryo damage and there's no cryo damage set. But, I mean, if that's what you want to do, I mean, sure. Um, be my guest. I don't know. But, I mean, a lot of people, and then a lot of people keep asking. A lot of people keep asking, hey, can, you know, can Diona be a substitute for Chi Chi if you don't have Chi Chi? Yes. The answer is yes. Chi Chi does not have to be the end all be all. You can use other units. You can use other healers, right? I know I know everyone pretty much says Chi Chi's the best healer in the game, and I agree. But being the best healer in the game doesn't mean anything. You can still work with other units. I use Barbara all the time. Uh shout out to my boy Kenzo. He uses Noel. He doesn't use Chi Chi. He doesn't I don't even think he has Chi Chi. So uh Diona can get the job done. A lot of people are using Bennett as a healer now. Right, they build them with a whole bunch of HP when and they they use Bennett, so it's like you can use Diona. Diona will pretty much work the same as Bennett, except she'll full, she'll heal to full max like HP. So running her with like an energy recharge bow is gonna be really nice for you if you want to just spam her ultimate as much as possible. But there you guys go. That's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.